showing you again that this is summer. This is a sunflower. These are our sweet cones. You can see our pumpkins. And among all this beauty, the sun is setting in this glorious continuous cycle. Which is due to the rotation of the earth, of course. Sunflowers are ready. Okay, it's enough just to take one seed. It's better to be from the margin where they are the best. And crack it between your teeth. If there's any. Give it, give it a sunflower seed inside it, so that's ready. Of a smaller one, also, which every plant has given a few a smaller one after, like this one, after the main one. So, I will har harvest all of this now, they are ready. So, you know now how to identify if the sunflower that you have is ready in your garden. You can roast it, mix it with the salt water, very uh, saturated solution of salt water, and uh, after being roasted for, or you have to really be careful that don't burn, you have to all the time be on top of it, you know, steer it and so. And when it is done, just pour the salt water all over it and mix it thoroughly. For such a size of the sun, uh, sunflower, probably one glass of the very saturated salt water is enough. If you want this stick to the salt, uh, to the seeds, you have to use a little bit of starch also. Mix it with the salt water solution. Okay, I have now harvested almost all of the big ones. There's a few ones which are smallish, but they have seeds inside them. I'll leave them for later. And these five are the beautiful harvest of the 2018 we're going to enjoy it there are yet a few tiny lovely flowers you can see the storm how it is the rain will damage the dry ones so I'm just going to keep them indoors The best way to extract the seeds from here is when you first keep them dry, when they are dry, if you have a space for drying them, keep them dry, or otherwise um, just uh, break them and then on the broken parts you can actually, oh beautiful bug here, anybody knows what's the name of this bug? I decided to harvest another one which was big enough to be harvested and it has enough seeds inside. So this is very good as a snack. People usually think this is for, car uh, for parrots or <laughs> for the hamster or anything like that or squirrels. No, this is for human consumption. They extract oil from it. It's very edible and when it's like popcorn in some parts of the world. They use it as a very nice snack. It's very good actually. The only thing is that too much of it, if you eat a lot, I mean one kilo, two kilo at once, it may cause you constipation. Okay, this is the harvest for today. Some sunflower, some uh, sweet corn, some queens, Michum prolific, Michus prolific, 
some uh, onion sets from seed, some uh, squash. I think these are probably uh, the spaghetti squash. One marrow, tiny marrow, and that's it. Going home with this. Always for today. Coming battle of Brexit, we need every resource that we can save. These uh, smaller, but well, I've already harvested the big sunflowers. These are smaller ones, are all right. Here, mm -hmm. Harvest this one, please. Big one, please. This one. Look. Any source of energy for us or for our chickens is welcome. We are going to have a hard time as they are threatening the British people, Mr. Barnier. Yeah, come on. We need to get our stocking stocks for the for the Brexit. <laughs> Stock up for the Brexit. <laughs> Oh, here, come, come, come here. There's a lot here. Why are you so slow? Come on. For Brexit, you have to be qu quicker. March 2019 is on the doorstep. I'm sure we'll have a few sunflower seeds to put in the bread. You make bread like Yeah, 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 here. Keep it. We can feed it to chickens also. They enjoy that. Yeah. So, Cut this too. Yeah, my friends can have it. So, yeah, it's hungry. All this. You have more here. Look, the whole cluster. Here. We have to get ready, if make our storage full. Hard times are coming, as they say. It's like a new year. You think something new has changed. Something has changed. Nothing has changed. Just, just a number has okay? changed. Get ready for Brexit. Here, another one. This is big. This is big, baby. Look. Mm -hmm. Don't cut my finger. Those little ones are alright. We don't, we don't need them. Or oh, probably we should eat them. Who knows? Our survival may depend on these little ones. Okay, for battle of Brexit, we need everything that we can afford. Um, we cannot afford any loss of material and food anymore. Oh my God. Party is over. <laughs> Please stop reminding me. Come on, here. Supermarkets, are, well, I've had yeah. papers that supermarkets are going to be fair. Yeah, oh yeah. And that we'll have to queue up. I think the hours streets hours will be stopped from any traffic. What will happen is that there will be no petrol. Brought our harvest inside to dry them. Also some seeds and uh, beans and uh, all chia seeds and uh, squash. And some of the seeds which are mixed and they are in glass so they are safe. I brought all of them indoors. So I have completely sealed the, the polytum as much as possible. Our crop. Hopefully we'll be safe, although we are inside a shade of a wind screen. At the same time, we have some harvest, like these Concord pears. There are many other trees, Concord pears. Uh, those apples, sunset, and these lovely Iranian medlars, which we are looking forward to. This is the first year I actually kept the fruit to this end and they're 
large. Okay, now I'm packing the sunflowers after drying them in the polish tunnel. I use this uh, cloth to pack them. I don't have a bag, so I just carry them like that. Okay, I've now tied them and okay, let's go. 